guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, I'm going to tell you uh, a wee shrimp pattern. and There's there's three um, patterns in this wee uh, set that I'm going to tie. I'm going to start off with this one. And this one's going to be called the, the Roe Royal Shrimp. Now there's two other patterns in this uh, selection if you like. And that's the Roe Purple Shrimp and the Roe gold shrimp and the only thing that changes is the rear and the front body. The breast feather at the back remains the same, the mid haggle and the front haggle. But we're going to start off with this one and then I'll, I'll tie up the other two and then sure you always have the videos for reference and you can change things about too. You don't have to just tie them as they are. But these flies were first tied by Mr Albert Atkinson who's a, a well known um, Northern Irish uh, fly tire. And these were tied for the, the River Row here in Northern Ireland. Now the, the hook and the vise that we're going to tie on is a Partridge Patriot double in size 10 and black nickel. The thread that I'm going to use is the Uni Thread 80 in black. So we're just going to come in and get our thread started a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to run on about 4 or 5 mil of thread and then remove the waist tag of thread. Now the tag and the, the rib for both the rear and the front body is going to be a, an oval gold tinsel. And this is the Vanyards French oval gold in uh, size 14. But use whatever you've got, even a gold wire would do. Now I'm just going to catch the oval gold tinsel in underneath and just work our thread back until you're in lane or just slightly past the points of the hooks. It's ground. Then we're going to come in with four turns of the oval gold tinsel, just to create our tag. On our last turn, bring it up and in between the, the two hooks. Follow that around with your thread. A couple of th tight thread turns in to catch in your oval gold and trim away the waist. Now the tail is a golden pheasant brace feather. This is just a natural. And you could use a dyed red or even a claret because these three flies are more in kind with back end salmon flies. Just bring our thread back to the tag, come up catching the, the tip of the haggle, fold the tip back, work my thread back up over the tip on the haggle. Now I'm going to bring my thread up to the eye of the hook to give me room to work, keeping a hold of your tip. And trim that away. Then we're just going to stroke the fibers back and just put it, wind it around the hook. Now, the turns here are entirely up to you, but also dictated by the, the feather. Now, I don't want to put no, no more fiber because the stem. It's getting thick. I'm going to show you. Now, what I like to do here is I still want the fibers. It's on the, it's on the, the stem of the haggle. So I'm going to try and show you this. I'll cross the thread over the stem, now, and then just come in, and bring back the the fibers. Take another two or three turns. Now I'm just going to show you the way I've caught that in. You can see the way it's caught there, and all the fibers is in the tail. Now, keep your stem, which is now on top of the shank of the hook. Just keep it on top. Don't need to worry about lumps and bumps because the body's going to be dubbed. Just want to make sure I'm tying a, a good, strong fly that's going to last more than one fish. Keeping your thread tight, you can break away the stem. Now, I'm just going to come in and just just to save your, your fingers really. Just get yourself an old toothbrush and just brush that, brush that out. Now we'll go back to our oval gold tinsel. And we'll take another length off here. You want to use up as much of the the feather that you can because golden, or golden pheasant 
feathers are becoming harder and harder to come by. Now, I'm just working my thread back down, tied up against the tail. I'm not tying on to it, just tied up against it. And the rear body, we're looking some dark claret seals for. In this case, I'm using dark claret SLF. I'll just show you the packet. That's it there. The dark claret. You just use a claret, even a medium claret would do. Just work that up the sort of way, the midway point. Then we're going to come up with a rib. Three turns of the oval gold tinsel. Three or four turns catches that in. Just come in with your scissors. Trim away the excess of the oval gold. Then the mid haggle. You can use a cock haggle. In this case I'm using a hand haggle. But you're looking at it in a hot orange. Offer this up to the hook. Come around with a couple of turns, fold the tip of the haggle back, tie up over the top of the tip of the haggle and the haggle itself. Then you can come in and break that away. I'm looking at a turn, maybe a turn and a half of the, the hand haggle. Let's see how we're going here. Turn's going to do me there. So, follow this around with my thread. Catch in the haggle. Now, I'm just going to keep my thread tight here. Once like I get that with the, the tail, I'm going to tie in the stripping off the fibers to tie in the stem and come break that away. You want to try and build your flies strong. You know, so that they last, so that they last you. Yeah. I'm just going to come back in with another length of her oval gold tinsel in size 14, it's not in underneath. Much like I did with the tail, just tying up tight against the mid haggle, not onto it, just tied up against it. Then we're back to our dark claret seals for, or sorry, SLF and dark claret. Slide that up. start it and you can stretch it out as you go. Come up with a rib. Three turns, much like the rear. Apply that around with your thread. Three or four turns to catch that in. Trim away the excess of the old gold tinsel. Now the front haggle. The front haggle you're looking at a dark magenta or a like a claret tight magenta. Now, to get this, instead of just dyeing it uh, claret and then, or sorry, dyeing it magenta and putting a wee touch of claret in, if you're dyeing it just a natural white, either cock or hen cape, what you can do is, you just take a ginger, a ginger uh, cock or hen haggle and just dye it claret and you'll get a, a colour. Now, I would have liked it darker than this, but the camera's not, it's not showing up. That's a really light claret, which is a hen. And this is a this is a darker, a darker claret. So I have a wee feather here. So we're just gonna stroke back the the fibers like we always do to reveal the tip. Offer this up to the hook, come around with two turns, I'm gonna fold the tip back, work my thread back up over the tip and the haggle. Then come in and break away the, the tip of the haggle. I'm just going to come in with my scissors. Just run it up the stem. Right, the fibres on this wee caper, very fine. So, I'll probably take three or four turns here just to build up a a fibre movement. It's going to do me there. I'm going to catch that on on top. Just come in a couple of turns. I'll catch that in. 
and trim away the stem. Then I'm just going to come in and just fold everything back that wants to go forward of the eye. And just tie that in. Now you can see the colours. The, the flags that Albert tied were very colourful. So now what I've tended to start doing more is, is using hen haggles. I just don't have a hen haggle in that dark claret. Just talk a wee fad for, for hen haggles instead of cock haggles in the in the Irish shrimp flies. Now in these patterns, and in this pattern in particular, jungle cock isn't used. It's not used in any of the in the road shrimp patterns that Albert tied. I mean he originally tied them but I've got two here so I'm just going to put them on. But if you don't have jungle cock, just, just leave it off. So I'm just coming around with four loose turns there. Just to see how we're, how we're sitting. Just checking on my side now. Checking the length. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. So I'm just going to hold the two eyes. Take my thread turns down towards the eye of the hook. Fold the stems of the jungle cock back. And then just build up our head. Now you don't be shy with the head on a salmon fly. And a decent head on the fly. That's what's holding it all together, don't forget. Nice and tight, keeping your thread tight. You can come in and pop away your stems. Then we'll come straight in with our whip finishing tool. And throw in a whip finish, shaping the head here at the same time. Put the thread tight, come in and trim away your tying thread. So there you go guys, that's the the row royal shrimp. And I'm going to tie you the other ones. But all the changes in it is basically just the the body. You've got the row gold shrimp. I'm just coming in with a we drop a super glue under the head first. Don't want to touch your dress with this. I'll just ruin it. And then once that dries, I'll come in and put on. A couple of coats of varnish just to, to seal up the the super glue. But there you go. Now you've got the like I said there, sorry, you've got the uh, the real gold shrimp, that's just a gold body on the rear on the front. And then you have the, the real purple shrimp, which is a yellow, bright yellow seals fur uh, on the rear body, and then just your dark claret. Um, seals for uh, on the front body. So look guys there you go hopefully you've got something out of that. If you're fishing for salmon tie a few up hopefully they can catch a few fish. Um, as always many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it. If you like the wee videos that I'm putting together and you haven't already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing. Helps the wee channel grow and until next time please stay safe and tail lanes guys.